So there you go. I hope we've just taken you onto into another dimension on a journey. That was Christina Spinney, and she's one of our featured artists on this month's Music Talks. And obviously today we're not going to be playing new music. We're going to be playing the tracks or just snippets of tracks from the featured artists that are on this month. Uh, Christina Spinney tells a story about how she originally wore shapeless dresses and frumpy blazers in the hope that people will pay more attention to her music. And obviously she plays classical music and I just love the fact that we're able to bring, you know, so many various genres on music talks. We don't often get classical, so when she you know submitted to become featured i just grabbed grabbed her <laughs> um we do want to have as many genres as we can but let me get on because i'm just you know blah 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 um i'm going on as i usually do anyway she changed the way that she looked and uh, really dressed up and really i mean she's a stunning girl anyway but um it's just a shame that you know you have to do this to create more attention which of course she did to try to get people to pay more attention to her music and it has worked she's doing really really well um check out her story on music talks and it's quite interesting because the next track i'm going to play is from a girl called m and m is um she's been told basically through her life uh going to church to basically cover up she's very attractive and she is uh you know men are quite attracted to her and she's been told various uh you know things like you'd look great if you've got this and and that and and she she just tells a story about how women are um you know I, i look you know i don't want to go on about you know the woman thing but i'm just telling you how um what m has actually mentioned in her story and basically how either you're not good enough for something or too good for that and cover up for this and oh that's not flattering on you or you look great in that and you get the idea anyway so she, she tells a story about how women dress and how they're supposed to dress viewed by so many other people anyway uh, we're going to play a track called dirty and this is basically what the song's about so it is snippet from m it's called you can call me worthy I'm not generous, I'm not generous 
Oh, there you go. That was M. Now, the next two tracks I'm going to play are from... Oh, look, they could be both folk, but I'll just explain this to you. The first track I'm going to play is from a guy called Damien... Sorry, Damon Langley. And he actually plays a real mix of music, and he admits it, and he says so in his story. He darts between folk rock indie on a good day, so he says, or alternative country. Um, but, you know, basically his songs, and he does say, is a lot is a lot about how he feels while it might be sort of insignificant to others they do mean a lot to him um in many cases they're the only way he can he can actually communicate with how he's feeling and i guess that's nothing new and he admits that but um look he's he's listen to this track i absolutely love this track um followed by we've got born in october who are a folk duo and the story that's been written here is amazing this is a real twist on the story, the way that it's written is quite entertaining. It's very matter of fact. It's quite funny. Just to give you an example, I'll just read a little bit. Um, okay, this is just taken from a paragraph from the story. She says, I could go on, but frankly, I simply don't have time. I have a baby asleep and I'm on hold with Optus trying to sort out my 19-year-old son's lack of phone payment due to his poverty, blah, blah, blah. So, look, the, the story is really quite funny, but this is a duo um, from Australia. They're called Born in October. Take a listen to both Damon Langley and Born in October. for you any day I still see your ghost following me around Your verse echoes in the halls where I know there is no sound Thought it'd be infinite the voices, the melodies you put in Dust I'm kicking up with my bare feet Or the drifts of dreams that follow my footsteps I think my best from up a tree No roof to trap my thoughts just leaves Wind in my hair, riding fast Balloon release, free of heart, free of fear as I walk in the dark Wind in my hair Riding fast Balloon release Free of heart Free of fear As I walk in the dark Yeah, so if you have been listening to these particular New Music Fridays or Tracy Talks Indie Sessions, you may find that song familiar to you because that was actually played a few weeks ago. They were on our New Music Fridays page. Um, so Free of Hearts, quite a new track from them. Um, prior to that, we played Damon Langley's Love Letter. That's what, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mention that earlier. But next up, last but not least, our featured artist, Todd Barrow. He hails from Texas and he talks about how he wrote his hit song, Guadalupe River. And um, he talks about, you know, how he had, he was actually floating on the river and he had Mo uh, lyrics moving around in his head and he was able to grab his grab his guitar and start strumming chords and anyway the d development process began um, he also talks about how there's certain links between Miranda Lambert with this song um, and anyway she was quite blown away by the song but take a listen to this, this is a he's obviously country music um, it's called Guadalupe River by Todd Barrow <laughs>
text the gang Ready to hang by the water Think I'll drink me a cold one Baking in the hot sun Floating down the river Catching a buzz with my friends Yeah, it's been a long week Time to let my troubles go Yeah, so there you go. Now, listen, just before we end, I've got to talk to you about this. Um, we're going to have a... We, we'll be putting up another interview very soon and actually it will be out by the time you hear this there is a great campaign that's running with extras gum yeah chewing gum you know extra the gum it's a campaign with Alice in Wonderland five seconds of summer and the Rubens and 360 if you don't know who they are just go to the site in the interview page and you'll see the information up there anyway this is about um, is is it's a new program, it's a, or it's a, not a program, it's a huge campaign with Extras Gum to support Australia's grassroots music scene. And what it is, is there's their support acts and they've paired up with 16 of Australia's up and coming musicians with the established acts for a series of 60 or more than 60 pre-rolled ads on YouTube. And you've got to vote for basically um, the best act. Anyway, uh, one of the, the four support acts with the most engagement in their group will perform at the U- UMA 2018 ARIA Week showcase in November and plus a lot more. So look, go on there and check out the interview that we've got with Racket. Now Racket is an awesome um, band from Sydney, Australia, four girls, and I tell you what, they are unbelievable. They've also got an up-and-coming tour um, called Tried to Quit Tour (laughs) in October and December. So, look, check out our interview. It's up on our interview page. And for now, that's it for uh, this week. Um, Have a great weekend, everybody. Have a great week, and um, you'll hear from me next Friday. Bye. Music, Music talks, talks. talks. X, X, Y, Z. Z.